A Ukrainian-born violinist plays Ukrainian dances. There's a sign on the front door of Russian Samovar clearly telling customers how the staff feels. Stand by Ukraine. No war. Most of the staff are from Ukraine, but still at the beginning of the Russian invasion of Ukraine, business at Russian Samovar dropped by 60 percent. The door to this theater district restaurant was kicked in, and hate-filled calls, emails, and social media called the Russian-born owner, who is married to a Ukrainian man, a Nazi. Coming from a Jewish background, being called a Nazi is something that I found very hurtful. Um, that went straight to the heart. You know, in the 80s, when we first opened the restaurant, there was a Cold War, and we had Russophobia then. And in those days, they used to call us the commies. Now they're calling us the Nazis. But the tide is turning as regular customers are coming back and new ones are showing their support. The Russian people are against what the lead is doing. I said, we stay, and I got to tell you, the food is out of this world. Russian Samovar is holding a fundraiser this Sunday for the family and friends of staff suffering in Ukraine. The piano player's niece, a 36-year-old mother of three, was killed in the first days of this war. They bump a village named Vasilkov Airport, and she was working there in the army. At the first bomb, they got her. Other restaurants across the city are also doing their part at Veselka, a Ukrainian restaurant in the East Village. They're collecting donations, and 100% of the proceeds from their borscht is going to Ukraine. And here at Russian Samovar, they're expecting a sold-out crowd on Sunday. We want to help our families, our friends, and our relatives. Another fundraiser next Friday for UNICEF. We're live in the theater district at the Russian Samovar McGee Hickey, Pix 11 News. Back to you, Tamsin and Corey.